We've all seen the mysterious red eye that ruins some of our favorite photos. But what about a picture that shows white in one's eyes? The consequences can be a lot more serious. I first noticed that something could be wrong with Noah's eyes when he was about, he was about six weeks old. And he just kind of would look up at the ceiling at the bright lights or he would not really look at you eye to eye when he should have been. I mentioned it to Brian when I started to see the white reflection in the pictures. Brian and Elizabeth Shaw were about to learn that their young son Noah had something called leukocoria, which is Greek for white pupil. If the pupils are dilated and the light is quite uh, right, you should see a red reflex. This is what you see when you see red eye with a snapshot. When you have something white in the back of the eye, and the most ominous for us is a malignant cancer like retinoblastoma, then it will reflect a white light. When I heard that Noah had retinoblastoma, um, <laughs> I almost just passed out <laughs> because I had read on the internet like what, um, what it entailed. And I just, at that moment, I thought we were gonna lose our son. <laughs> After initial treatment elsewhere, it was recommended that the best place for Noah was Mass Eye and Ear. He had been treated with a common form of treatment uh, at that point, which was systemic chemotherapy. Dr. Mukai tried valiantly to save both of Noah's eyes, even though the odds were against him. Unfortunately, the condition in the right eye was too severe, and it had to be removed. It was tough because we had put our little baby through chemo, through all these surgeries. He had anesthesia, I mean, I would say at least two dozen times at this point. And he, I mean, he was an infant. We took him in to have the surgery that morning. Dr. Munkai let us spend like extra time with him in the surgery area, just, just looking at him because he wouldn't be the same after. The other eye we went on to treat with radiotherapy or radiation and we have one of the best radiation facilities at Mass General right across the street, uh, proton radiotherapy. At the time Noah was being treated, there were only nine proton beam radiation centers in the country. Uh, New York didn't even have one. What proton beam does is to treat it more precisely than any other form of radiotherapy. At one point, one of these tumors had broken up into dozens of small little seedling tumors and he sat there for hours just blasting away at them. Dr. Mukai's meticulous work paid off and he successfully treated Noah's other eye. Today, the youngster is in remission and his prognosis is good. You never know what he went through. With his prosthesis, you can hardly tell he is monocular, that he only has one eye. He participates in everything he wants to. We did what was right for our son by bringing him to, to Mass Ainir. Noah has inspired his dad, a scientist, to invent something that could help other kids before it's too late. So I asked Dr. Mukai, what would have happened if we would have brought Noah in at 12 days old or a month old? So he said he might not have lost his right eye. So we want to develop some software that will help a parent detect leukocoria. It'd be nice to see if we can combine some of the digital photography with these pattern recognition software, like facial recognition software, to create a smart machine. And it's very healing to know um, that this work could help other children in the future. A future that would include healthy eyes and a healthy child. <laughs>